Kolo Yabashim Yoshai Bashim Rakak Kadash. It's the name of the Most High, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Paleo Hebrew. I'm going to give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone and citations to the Bakiyar. I want to hit this segment going in on this article from WorldNewsDaily.com on the famine of the word, man. As we have been having countless reports flooding the web and actual legislation that's been put into place to limit people's speech, okay, and what they can say and bring out on the Agora. And this is uh, definitely the ushering in of the Most High shutting the mouth of the prophets, man. And it's actually for the purposes of uh, choking the people out, all right, starving them of the sustenance that they never cherished, the sustenance that we were supposed to actually live by um, more than fucking daily food, as it says in the scriptures, to treasure the most high in his word, okay? And and their breakdowns, uh, their unadulterated interpretations by the vessels of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, okay? So I just want to hit a couple of precepts after I um, hit a paragraph or two from this article. But the essence is in the title. It says, the WEF orders governments to arrest citizens who read fake news online. All right. And they've considered us to be misinformation, which is another word for fake news, uh, for years, man. Even though all our stuff is highly uh, sourced. Meaning there's uh, work cited and actual uh, evidence, empirical evidence that proves um, things that we bring, uh, bring out, all right? But yet and still they call it misinformation. But like it says, like we've gone into it, anything that goes against the hegemony of the current people in power is going to be deemed as, as uh, fake, or misinformation, man. Something that's going to compromise the uh, the dominance and, and the hegemony of the Edomites, of the people in power. Okay? Of uh, the, the, uh, the elites. And fucking these um, Edomites in power throughout the earth. Since the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All right? These Edomites who were in place in different um, areas around the earth, the globe. See? So it says, uh, The WF has ordered world governments to ban independent media, make it illegal to read non-mainstream news sources, and fill prisons with people who share opinions or articles deemed false by so-called fact-checkers. Right, and just as we I mentioned, to spend Pariyal Bashim Shai, these fact checkers and any of the people who is so called vetting the truth uh, are actually f- spreading deception. All right, and there's no telling what is a um, deemed a fact by them. All right, the motherfuckers who are the so-called fact-checkers and vetting these things as true or false, as fake or authentic, are the same ones who are deeming it to be um, fact or fiction, man. All right? So it's complete fucking deception and wickedness. But this is all um, in accordance with the Most High's prophecy. See, they're not even doing this on their own. The Most High is working through them uh, on the left-hand side for them to uh, fucking choke out uh, this word, man. All right? To starve the masses of the people of truth. All right? That's why we're in what's known as the post-truth era, meaning uh, post, meaning after, um, of course, truth, after truth, meaning... There's no more truth in this society, man. We're going into that dystopian era, 1983 bullshit. Uh, Was it 1984? Okay. 
So we're just gonna get some uh, some precepts to this written part of by Shimei Shai. Of course, the staple in Amos eight and eleven. Behold, the days come, and this, these days we are swiftly approaching. All right, say it, Yahweh, power that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh Ba Hashem Shai. Okay? So that's what the Most High is. Ultimately, he's the, the entity behind this word being starved out from the people because, like, it, we're going to get, while it was given to you on a silver fucking platter, you rejected it, okay? And something that was um, w worth more, more than precious gold, and the uh, worth more than the most priceless uh, gem in the universe, okay? Is you you despised it, okay? And then you're going to. Um, you're going to realize its wealth. And this analogy that we put on it, it doesn't even do it justice, but it provides a little bit of perspective that it's like that stock that was fucking under the radar. That fucking... Oh man. We can't even... The, we can't even put a... Um, quantify, right? We We can't even quantify the percentage of the of how much this, uh, the value of this thing is going to skyrocket in that day, man. Right? And then the value is going to be um, widespread. Meaning, see, we see the value now. We see um, how priceless this truth is. But in that day, um, the the that is going to be revealed the its true value is going to be revealed and then um it'll be at a at a stock price that they can't that they won't be able to afford okay and all of course metaphorically going into the analogy all right this is in proverbs 1 and 28 then shall they call upon me but i will not answer they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Okay. It says, for, they, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yah Bashim Shai, they would none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof. All right. And that's indeed the sake of the people in the time now while they yet had liberty. Okay. Let's see. Like it says, when the, while the getting was good. It says in 2nd Edges 9 and 11, and they have loathed my law while they had yet had liberty, and when as yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Okay? And that's going to be a shame unto you. That's an ultimate of um, <laughs> embarrassment, so to speak, man. For it to now be rejected of you, something that was offered unto you. All right. And finishing off in Deuteronomy 8 and 3. Because in that day, you're going to be beckoning for this well, more than food. Okay. Because this is what the true. Um, definition of sustenance okay man put a, a, a carnal modern day um, uh, uh, association with that that word sustenance 
which literally has the word sustain in it. Something that um, is created to sustain you, man. All right? And they put a carnal fucking twist on it to, to mean food. But with the true sustenance is every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? And that's when it's going to be known in that day, when it's not available. All right? It goes into that phrase, brothers, be saying, um, like, these bitches want what they can't have. It's like the nature, human nature. It's a fucking flaw, of course. And in that day, it's exactly what it's going to be like. All right, we're over here, the men of Yahweh Bashim Shai, at the behest of the Most High. At his behest, are giving um, this word to the people on a silver fucking platter, man. For, um, at no charge on the um, on the highways and hedges man the cheap place of concourse weekly daily alright on the agora and other platforms and other forms man and they they actually um, are taking it and uh, and defiling it and then turning it around and, and attempting to rend us all right. So this ultimately is a trick bag from the Heavenly Father because he has the people blinded from receiving it anyway. All right. So this all is a setup for the destruction of, of, of a lot of people. Okay. It's in Deuteronomy 8 and 3. So he humbled, so he humbled you, allow you to hunger and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did did your fathers know and that's it's perfect that it brings that out because this is a huge judgment for the two-thirds of what's going down because especially what it says in the scriptures what was um created for your benefit it's going to be your your downfall it's going to be your destruction you see you're going to taste the punishment the judgment of uh, something that was supposed to be for your benefit that you were going to uh, reap the blessings for, all right, that we even had. I mean, think of it for crying out loud. We had a last chance uh, with the Most High's uh, opportunity to be of, of election, which just the essence of that shows you that it's not of yourself, but he did, at least he has that last batch, right, that last, um, which uh, lot is, right? Lot is another word for batch. The same batch. Uh, Aslakia, he has um, that last batch of Jake that, he's, um, that is going to be allotted to be saved. Just the mercy alone from that man is gargantuan. Okay, it's stifling. It's extremely humbling. Okay. Uh, but the fact that two thirds of the nation of Israel is is going to have to be supremely punished and paid back for their rebellion and their uh, defiance to the Most High, okay? And this is a, a huge part of what this thing is about. Jacob's trouble, all right, and the calamities that are set before, that are that are uh, set to come on this place, all right let what was intended to be for their benefit be their destruction. It says, it says that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone. See, and that's what is going to be made known in that day when they're beckoning for truth like like a fucking uh, uh, like their uh, last drink of water. Like it's the last drink of water on the planet. It's like, that's how they're going to be beckoning for this truth, man. Okay. It says, uh, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay. And we have understanding on, uh, on a certain level, right? Le understanding that levels up with maturation in this truth. Okay. 
our understanding for this, how how uh, crucial this this really is, the, this concept that really we we don't need any of this shit to sustain us, but Yahweh Bashim Shai, right? But um, as time progresses into uh, the destruction and the 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 evil and the bad times that the, that is said to befall the world our our understanding for this is going to increase even more all right when we start to see it with our own eyes how uh how crucial and vital this truth is going to be towards um survival okay like it like it says it's the wisdom and knowledge of of this truth is is his treasure stability of thy times <laughs> all right so in essence, you're going to be unstable. And then you're going to be starving, like it says, a famine of the word. You're going to be spiritually starving, which is worse than physical. Because then that affects your mind. Okay. Just directly linked to your, to your, uh, your mental fortitude. Which in that day for, of the masses of the people is going to fucking plummet, man. Okay. To where people wanting to give up the ghost... People uh, going haywire doing um, uh, friendly fire, <laughs> mutiny and shit, right? Killing each other, uh, 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 getting fucking uh, extreme cases of senses of paranoia and fucking turning the gun on their own people and their own clan and all, all kind of shit, man. All right? When you introduce the element of fucking insanity and mental instability which is gonna this place is gonna be inundated with in that day man all right so this is more uh prophecy news update of us uh this famine of the word being ushered in to society man being implemented in accordance with biblical prophecy all right so with that all praises honor glory dominion Power to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shai, Bashim Kadash, Shalom to the elect of the nation of the Asherah.